Yeah. Free beer and hot wings in the morning. Grand Rapids rocks all day. 97.9 GRD rocks. Morning snow giving way to partly cloudy skies. So the snow should be over. That's a nice treat. We've all had enough. It's been several days. That is it. Well, how about uh, are we going to get any more before Thursday or hopefully not on Thursday? Because we have to fly out that day. I don't know. I I know the bottom's going to drop out. Today's not going to be too bad. Tomorrow's supposed to be 30, I think. And then I think Wednesday's not that bad. And then Thursday is, every time I see it, it's uh, getting a little lower for a high. The last I saw it was supposed to be 11. But then Saturday is 28 again. So it's like two days of brutal cold. There's snow in the forecast for each day, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But each day it's uh, it's like one gotcha. inch or less. Gotcha. And then Saturday is two to four inches with snow all day long and then rain towards the end of the day when it warms up. Oh, that's oh. that's perfect. I'm That'll driving nice to the other side of the state hey. for Christmas with my family. It's a recipe early. for zero accidents yeah. on the roads. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Yeah, so we got that going for us. Great. Uh, we have uh, two chances for you to win on a massive Millions Monday right now. $50 worth of gifts galore, instant win tickets. That could get you up to $30,000 with over $12 million in total cash prizes available. For more info, go to michiganlottery.com. you got to be 18 or older to win. The Michigan Lottery puts some play in your day and do so by being number caller number five or seven. Caller number five or seven, 770 WGRD or one 800 Nine four seven, thirty nine seventy nine. Guys, I have to uh, take a minute to thank my hero. I don't know his name. You're welcome. I'm here. <laughs> Turns out <laughs> I do know your names. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I appreciate everything you do for me. Hey, you're welcome. That's it, uh, Megadeth. Is that coming? Up? Yep, it is. Coming. <laughs> okay, so last night, what does hero do? Were you hysterical and he slapped you with the butt of a gun? Yeah. Yes. Bring you back to action? Yeah. Oh uh, no, but I was I was getting ready to flip out, and here's what happened. I went out into the disgusting weather that was yesterday. I went to Taco Bell on Alpine. I pulled into the driveway. Now it is snowing a ton. Right. Getting out of my car, I realized what an ass nine decision I had just made because there's a plow in the parking lot and it appears as though he has plowed this way, like to my right. Okay. Like a path going that way. Mm-hmm. It turns out he did the opposite and didn't plow. He was plowing tiny piles to my right so then he could take the those – and push it into the back of the parking lot. Okay. And so instead yeah. of going uh, right here where it would have been freshly plowed, I turned my wheel and went directly onto a massive pile of snow. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, did he see you no. do it, you think? What would you say? Do you think that guy saw you do it? Yes, he did. Oh, he absolutely did. And I got very angry at him. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it was my fault. Why would you put the snow here? Yes. Uh, I didn't yell at him, but uh, okay, my car won't won't go. So and you're so you're high centered on yes. a lump of snow. And now in the past, I I've had uh, automatic <laughs> transmissions, so I'll just like leave the car in drive, and it kind of like helps it along if I want to get out and push myself. Yeah. But uh, you know, I have a manual, so the best I can do is put it in neutral. Also, it's on that pile of snow. So you would get. If you got stuck before, you would leave your car in drive and then get out of it and push it from behind? No, from my door. Like, hand on the wheel, push it. Okay, that's a little less. More likely you'll get run over, but less likely that you'll lose the car. Yeah, Yeah, I'm not sure it's better. Oh, get out of here. Just a different brand of stupid. Dude's getting run over by with their car in idle. It happens a lot. You see stories like that in the winter where somebody tries to do that and their foot slips and then they run themselves over. Yeah, uh, spoiler alert in Sopranos, Phil Leotardo got his head run over (laughs) at the gas station. Yeah. Don't you remember that that terrible noise? (laughs) No. Uh, a skull is strong, but cannot withstand the weight of an automobile. Listen, we're getting off track. Pop. <laughs> now, technically, he had been okay. shot first, but nevertheless, thankfully, well, thankfully, I hope now that you pushing have a... the car doesn't lead to me being shot in my head. So thankfully, <laughs> on the pavement like a pumpkin. So, oh my god! Thankfully, you have a manual transmission, and now that's impossible. <laughs> no, it's, it's 
suck. Okay, so there you are, teeter tottering upon a mound of snow. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Right. So uh, there's this guy. He's throwing out the garbage. I walk up to him and I go, "Hey, man, uh, you guys got a shovel in there that I can borrow?" This dildo made me get stuck on this pile of snow. <laughs> oh no! And uh, he's like, "Yeah, hang on." And he brings me out the shovel, and then I. I thought I had done an all right job of digging, uh, digging around my tires and everything, uh, but I hadn't. I can't move at all. Well, this dildo, who became my hero, <laughs> he got out of his truck and he saved me. I was in the car and he just like took the shovel and he's like, I'll get you out. And he dug for 20 minutes. Oh my God. As I rocked the car back and forth, I took, this was a poor choice. I took a. Uh, I'm like, oh, man, the uh, traction control is really, really not helping here. It's like, it's, <laughs> it's, uh. My wheels it's, refuse to move because yes! they're suspended in the air. Yes, they would go for a second, and <laughs> yeah. then they would just, like, stop or slow down. And I'm like, well, all right, turn that off. And all of a sudden, I hit the gas, and the RPMs go into the red <laughs> in one <laughs> second, and all these lights come on. <laughs> it's like, all right, I need to be a little bit more careful about that. But, yeah, sure enough, man, this guy worked so damn hard. I don't know what tow truck company he works for. I don't know his name. I, I was like, take all of the money that I have on me, $10. I would have given him more. Did he take it? Yeah. He did. Good for him. He didn't want to. Mm-hmm. Good for him. He didn't well, want no, to. Well, no, he did want to. He deserved to. it. Well, he was being, But he didn't yeah, want he to did want to. It. Absolutely. He didn't he do it for it. money, but he deserved yes. some money. Yeah. Okay. I'm surprised Joe, you don't didn't... answer this. Yeah, even though it was this fault. Let's yeah, find out what everyone thinks. Uh-huh. Did Joe eat his Taco Bell before or after he got off the snow pile? <laughs> Steve. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's digging me out. <laughs> and I'm just uh, no, no one needs to answer. I just <laughs> wanted to ask. Of course. Oh, of course he's faced after. after. Of course he's faithful in Chalupa. <laughs> I would offer you one of these, but these are mine. <laughs> they sell more. Yeah. I'm just you trying to discount. make the car heavier. <laughs> Use that 10 bucks and get you some. These seven are mine. <laughs> hey, would you go inside and uh, ask if you can borrow one of those caulking guns? I need more guac on this. <laughs> you should have told him to treat the car like you treat all the objects that you don't want to like, that you don't want to care about possessions, and said, just Plow me off. <laughs> Just think I that wasn't the first thing, and this is serious, that I thought of. I went, what am I going to do? It's 7 p.m. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to sleep here yep. and hope for a big melt. Oh, no, I'm, I'm snowbound. I'm going to have to leave it like cars on Lakeshore Drive a couple years ago. Yeah. Like, no one's going to uh, find me until spring. I mean, I can't possibly we'll know uh, where to find them. dig yeah. for 20 more minutes. I already did three minutes of digging around each tire. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate it. He mm-hmm. was, uh, yeah, he was very nice about it. And he went, uh, man, there, is it funny when people get stuck when I'm plowing? Went, that reminds me, when I walked in this morning, yeah. um, Phil, who does building building maintenance here, yeah, he, his day starts early anyway, but not at 4 or mm-hmm. 4.20. And he's out there shoveling because the snow mm-hmm. removal people, whoever this company had hired, they did the parking lot, but they didn't do any of the sidewalks. And so Phil came in early to shovel. And he was he was still a happy, kind man. Because I would have yeah, been muttering and yelling. He's always cool about it. I have he's never the most seen laid him back get mad. dude. No. There have been so many times where Phil pops his head in my booth. Like, because a lot of times we'll get to work in the morning and the gates won't work for whatever yeah. reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we always just go around and you. there's another way to get into the lot. And he'll always mm-hmm. come in and be like, why didn't you just call me? Why didn't you tell me? Meh. No big deal. It's yeah. no problem. Yeah, that's yeah. all right. Yeah, because I'm afraid you're He's... not actually going to be here when I do that, and I don't want you to have to come in to do yeah. that. Right. If you run the company that uh, owns our building, you should give Phil a raise. Oh, Phil deserves yes. a huge mm-hmm. raise. Uh, Aren't they turning our building you know, into two buildings? Like 50 buildings, I yeah. think. So that means salary. Phil, Phil yeah, should get so. double the money yes. because he'll still have to watch. Now he's got to go from one building to two buildings. Mm-hmm. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Good job, uh, that's Phil. You just got work. a sweet raise. Would you guys like to play post office prices right? Yes. I'd love to. Yeah. Uh, I happened to be outside when our, our mail carrier came by our house on Saturday evening, and it was later than normal. And I said, is it the roads that are causing? I said, it, it's got to be tough on a day like today. The roads are so terrible, and it was still snowing a ton. She says, well, that's one thing. 
but it's the packages because the post office signed that deal with Amazon, Amazon yeah. Yeah. where all packages are delivered through the U.S. Postal Service now. And they do yeah. it on Sunday. Yeah, too. it really yes. boggles my mind when yeah. I see the, the if the mailman pulls yeah. up on Saturday or I mean on Sunday, you go, what the? I didn't. So at, yeah. yeah, they'll the deliver particular, packages. Where my mail comes from, they have 90 routes. How many packages did they check in to be delivered across 90 routes on Saturday morning? Oh, my gosh. Two weeks before Christmas? Um, Closest without going over. 500,000. Okay. Uh, 90, 90 routes. If uh, you guys see, all go higher than Justin, I'd like to say one package. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. <laughs> I, that seems a, li- a bit lofty. Yeah. Um, well, while you take nine days to come up with your calculated <laughs> answer, I'll, I'll set say, the bar high. Yeah. I'll say... 4,300. Okay. Hot wings. I'm going to say 8,000. Joe. 8,001. Oh, man. 4,500. Wow. wow. Damn. So, That's wow, insane. I think they yeah. could handle uh, and it's, quite a few more packages, if you ask me. I mean, <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, yeah, we, we, we still, hold them in much greater esteem than they hold themselves. <laughs> but we're still two weeks away from Christmas. Everybody yeah. waits until the last minute. Everyone yeah. waits until the 20th, 22nd, 23rd mm-hmm. to actually send the stuff out. Yeah. Yeah, so before, the, that same route would have taken longer because of the weather, and there'd been packages, but now you're walking yeah. to the door every time. Mm-hmm. Boy. It's a long time. Well, that's right. So, that makes up for the days that I get like the thrifty nickel, and yes. they don't have to do anything. That's true. Yeah. I'm sure that's how they feel. Mm-hmm. That, is that an hourly yeah. job? Do you think? Yes. I didn't ask. I hope is it, it is. I, I would, hope that's I, I would think so. I would. I would be shocked if that's a salaried job. Really? I hope it's I overtime because it had st- that that route that morning had started at six thirty, and it was almost six o'clock at night. Crap! It's not like really? we're like the last house. By the way, this person was not complaining. Mm-hmm. So. No, no, you oh, were. Not what I heard. Yeah. yeah. Don't do that. Yeah, the way way I heard you say it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You off literally just don't. No, I didn't talk about. We don't talk about postal routes off the air. Well, not all the time, but today we did. No, we didn't. Yeah. 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 There's yeah. no complaining. Mm-hmm. Salary? Or I is it hourly? Is that what you were going to say? Yeah, well, mm-hmm. I was looking into it. It's, there's more than that. I don't know why I even said, hey, I got something here, because I didn't. So did you what? say I'm it was your, your regular postal person? Because I know during the holidays they they do hire. Yeah, like, this was a, this was our regular one. Yeah, yeah. No. But anyway, so thank you <clears throat> for bringing our packages. I think most yeah. of them are hourly because that's the, the first thing that pops up is that their median pay hourly is twenty seven bucks. Okay, well then, uh, I thought it was an hourly job, but either way, it's just yeah. a ton of hours. Mm-hmm. My uh, God, Megadeth sympathy. Nope, Symphony of Destruction. Not sympathy. I'm sympathetic. It's 97.9 GRD Rocks.